Let us sing number five, six, nine. Number five, six, nine. Son and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My brothers and sisters, coming together as God's family, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, in your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding blood. You have also forgotten the exhortation addressed to you as children. My son, do not disdain the dis discipline of the Lord or lose heart when prepared, reproved by him. For whom the Lord loves, he disciplines. He scourges every son he acknowledges. Endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as his sons. For what son is there whom his father does not discipline? At the time, all discipline seems a cause not for joy but for pain. Yet later it brings the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who are trained by it. So strengthen your drooping hands and your weak knees. Make straight paths for your feet that what is lame may not be this located but healed. Strive for peace with everyone 
and for that holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one be deprived of the grace of God, that no bitter root spring up and cause trouble, through which many may become defiled. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, respond. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who fear him. For he knows how we are formed. He remembers that we are dust. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. But the kindness of the Lord is from eternity to eternity toward those who fear him and his justice towards children's children among those who keep his covenant. The Lord's kindness is everlasting to those who fear him. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, Where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom has been given to him? What mighty deeds are wrought by his hands? Is he not the carpenter, the son of Mary, and the brother of James and Joseph, and Judas and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor, except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deed there, apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, today we have in our, our gospel, our readings actually today, a lesson about uh, righteousness, about humility, and about growth. Um, it, we can see in our gospel today that an account of the response of the hometown people of Jesus, people in his hometown uh, where he grew up, Um, They said, where is this man? Where did this man get all this? And uh, what kind of wisdom has been given him? Is he not the carpenter? You know, this is their response. Uh, uh, The uh, people of 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 his own town um, were clinging 
to their old relationship. They were clinging to, clinging to their old knowledge of Jesus. And they did not want to take the next step to accept the, the righteousness, the wisdom, the works, the revelation of God in Jesus. And because that is a challenging thing, they would have to change then their understanding, they would have to change their relationship with Jesus, and also it, ch it would challenge them to grow. And so this is a wonderful lesson for us as well, that uh, righteousness, um, uh, uh, holiness, uh, growth in holiness, all is a challenge for us that we need humility. We need to have uh, an awareness that we are in need of growth. As, as we hear um, in the first reading, endure your trials as discipline. God treats you as sons, um, and, uh, and God, uh, for what son is there uh, whom his father does not discipline? And what is discipline is training, correction for something greater. So as we listen to our readings today, we can be reminded of what we heard when we came to Mass on Sunday, last Sunday, of the Beatitudes of blessed are the poor in spirit, for they, the poor in spirit, are know that they need God's correction and help. Blessed are the, those who hunger and thirst for righteousness. We are people that if, we're, if we look for the righteousness of God, right living in God, right understanding, that when then God will have his favor on us, we will be blessed. And then we can think of Jesus as well as of ourselves when we, are, when we, when we uh, show the wisdom of God, when we espouse to the wisdom of God, when we, cling, when we uh, embrace the wisdom of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness. Um, those who we, we might be persecuted for those who might oppose us, take offense at us, or we, be, or we ourselves of being offended and taking opposition to those who are righteous, those who are following the call of God. Let us today ask the Lord to receive his discipline and to grow in holiness, right living, righteousness in him. Let us offer our prayers and intercessions to our loving God. Response to our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayers. That the church may be emboldened by God in spreading her message of salvation to the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the Holy Spirit may guide all people and nations on the path that leads to justice and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord may console all who are mourning the loss of a loved one. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the grace of the sacraments may bring forth abundant fruit in this community of faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That God may joyfully welcome into the light of his presence all who have gone before us in faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Cristobal Garcia, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Oh God, help us to be open to your um, grace, your growth in holiness as we offer all of these intentions, spoken and unspoken, through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. We be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. Our, may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are a, 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 indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Robert our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Blessed are they, the poor in spirit, theirs is